With curves that captivate and power that astounds, the uniquely stunning 6 Series elevates driving into an art form. Each one of its three models, Coupe, Convertible, and Grand Coupe, is a one-of-a-kind masterpiece that delivers thrills you will savor over every mile. I would like to proudly present the all-new 2017 BMW 6 Series 640i Grand Coupe in Alpine White. As the first four-door coupe in BMW's history, the new 6 Series Grand Coupe is just as groundbreaking as it looks. Long, fluid lines give away to a spacious cabin designed to impress drivers and passengers alike. Featuring the 3-liter BMW twin-power turbo inline cylinder, the 640i pushes out an incredible 315 horsepower. If that's not enough power for you, you can step up to the 650i which features the V8 engine that pushes out 445 horsepower. When inside the 6 series, it is as luxurious as it can be with an ambient lighting that illuminates a warm glow that runs from the front to the back under the inner door ledge. Hey guys, I'm very excited to introduce to everyone the all new 2016 Lexus GSF in Metador Red Mica. The letter F represents the high performance division of cores produced by Lexus. The F refers to the flagship and Fuji Speedway which is the main test site of Lexus performance vehicle development in Japan. The Lexus GSF was first seen at the 2016 Detroit Auto Show which features the naturally aspirated 5 liter V8 first seen in the Lexus RCF. Pushing out an awesome 467 horsepower, this is one of Lexus most powerful sedan ever made. The GSF can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 4.5 seconds. And if you want to have more fun and bring it to the track, the GSF can sure give you top speed of 168 miles per hour kind of fun. When it comes to the GSF exterior design, it is absolutely stunning, sporty, and will guarantee to turn heads everywhere you bring it. The GSF is packed with many awesome and futuristic features, some of which includes the color head up display, pedestrian detection, and the lane departure alert just to name a few. So here's the key fob to the car. On there we have the lock, unlock, trunk release, and the panic button in red. You can also press this button on the back to release the manual key. Now let's go ahead and unlock the car, start it up, and let you listen to the exhaust sound. The new 2017 640i of course come equipped with the smart keyless access entry. So all you have to do is leave the keys in your pocket or purse to unlock, put your hand behind the handle. And to lock, simply touch on the outer side right there. Right away, as you'll notice, comes with the frameless doors. Looks very sporty. Also features the soft closing feature. Here's a quick view of the interior. Looks extremely luxurious. To start the engine, put your foot down the brake and press the start button located right here. Under the hood, the 2017 BMW 640i features the 3.0-liter 24-valve 6-cylinder engine with BMW twin-power turbo technology. The 6-cylinder engine pushes out 315 horsepower at around 5,800 rpm and 330 pound-foot of torque at around 1,300 rpm. It is a 8-speed sport automatic transmission with sport and manual shift mode. The 640i can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 5.4 seconds, and its top speed is limited to 155 miles per hour. Keep in mind this is a rear wheel drive vehicle, but of course you can upgrade it to the xDrive model to get the BMW Intelligent all wheel drive version. As for fuel economy, the 640i gets 20 miles per gallon in the city, 29 miles per gallon on the highway, and when combined it gets 23 miles per gallon. 
The 640i also features the start and stop function, which will automatically shut off the engine at red lights or when stuck in traffic. And this will also enhance gas mileage depending on how you drive the vehicle. Here's the key fob to the car on there. We have the lock, unlock, trunk release, and the panic button in red. You can also push this button on the side to release the manual key. Now let's go ahead and unlock it, start it up, and let you listen to the exhaust note. Of course the GSF come equipped with a smart keyless access entry, so all you'll have to do is leave the key somewhere on your body or purse. To unlock, simply put your hand behind the handle, and to lock, simply touch on the outer side right there. Here's a quick view of the sporty interior. And as you can see, along with the sportiness, it also looks very luxurious. To start the engine, simply push your foot down the brake and press the start button located right here. Under the hood, the 2016 Lexus GSF again features the naturally aspirated 5.0-liter V8 engine. It is a 8-speed Sport Direct Shift transmission with steering-mounted F-Spec paddle shifters. The V8 engine pushes out 467 horsepower, along with 389 pound-foot of torque at around 4,800 RPM. The GSF can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 4.5 seconds and its top track speed is 168 miles per hour. As for fuel economy, the 2016 GSF gets 16 miles per gallon in the city, 24 miles per gallon on the highway, and when combined, it gets 19 miles per gallon. Gas mileage will also vary depending on which driving mode you're in, Eco, Normal, Sports, or Sport Plus mode. When in the Eco mode, you will see an increase in gas mileage with a slight decrease in power, and when in the sports mode, you'll see a dramatic increase in power with a slight decrease in gas mileage. Extremely aggressive engine look. Up front, there's the automatic rain sensing intermittent windshield wiper. Moving down, we have the all new and redesigned M Sport bumper with the same signature BMW badge and the iconic BMW double kidney grille in the center. For enhanced visibility, there's the full adaptive LED headlight with four Corona headlight rings and cornering lights. In addition, there's also the two LED fog lights that integrate into the front. For additional safety and convenience, the front bumper is also feature parking assist that will notify the driver when the vehicle is close to hitting any objects. Overall, the new face definitely looks more aggressive with the new LED headlamps together with the aerodynamic front bumper. Moving over to the side, there's the corner reflector light and side camera. 640i side fender. Body color side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal light, power adjustable feature, power folding, auto dimming feature, heated control, active blind spot detector, 
And below each side view mirror, we also have an additional built-in camera for enhanced safety. With the M Sport package, this model features the 19-inch alloy double-spoke wheels with performance tires. Behind the wheels, we have the four ventilated disc brakes with dynamic stability control, brake fade compensation, start off assistant, brake drying, and brake standby feature with dynamic traction control. Of course, all four wheels are equipped with the tire pressure monitoring system. To the back, first on top, we have the attractive LED brake light strip, which look extremely eye-catching and attractive. Moving down, tail lamps, brake lights, and turn signal lights are full LEDs. The rear bumper is also equipped with parking sensors to notify the driver when the vehicle is close to hitting any objects. It also features the rear view camera that will automatically turn on when your car is put into reverse. This is a great safety feature to assist driver in backing out and parking. And lastly, one of my favorite appearance of the 6 series is the aerodynamic bumper and rear diffuser. Looks extremely aggressive. As for the gas tank, just make sure the car is unlocked. To open, simply push in. And of course it is recommended by BMW to use premium unleaded gasoline only. Now let's go ahead and check out what's inside the trunk. As you can see, there's plenty of space for storage. On this side, if you pull this lever out, this will fold down the seat. Storage compartment here. Have a hook on all four corners. And you can also fold the seat on this side down, which is a convenient feature to have if you ever need more storage of space spot for you to put your first aid kit user manual down here we have your storage compartment additional storage compartment and here's your emergency trunk release simply pull that down to open it on the inside lighting and you can simply press this button to lock the core doors from back here now for a complete view of the top the 640i does feature the uh, tilt sunroof looks very sporty both outside and inside Here it is with the tilt function on. Now again, I have to mention this again. This is my favorite series out of all BMW series. Up front, the first thing we have is the automatic rain sensing windshield wiper with adjustable speed. Moving down, we have the beautifully designed and exclusive new grille with the Lexus logo embedded right in the center. And as you can see on the lower side here, there's the carbon fiber finish which looks very nice and sporty. To enhance with visibility and probably one of the most noticeably feature of the 2016 GSF is its triple beam LED headlamps which are strikingly attractive. The GSF also features LED daytime running lights. For additional safety and convenience, the GSF front bumper also have built-in parking assist to notify the driver whenever the vehicle is close to hitting any objects. Moving over to the side, we have the uniquely designed colored side view mirror with integrated turn signal light, power control with electronic heated feature, auto dimming function, and the optional blind spot monitor assist system. 
here's a quick look at the underside. F-badge and the side fender which looks extremely aggressive and sporty. Runs all the way throughout the side as you can see here. This specific model comes with the 19 inch forged alloy wheels with staggered tires. The front features 255, 35 or 19 tires and the rear features 275, 35 or 19 tires. Behind the wheels we have the Brembo 4 wheel power assisted slotted and ventilated disc with 4 sensor along with Brembo 6 piston mono block calibers, 4 channel anti-lock braking system, electronic brake force distribution and brake assist. Of course, all four wheels are equipped with a tire pressure monitoring system. To the back, the first thing we have is the integrated LED brake light behind the rear windshield. Moving down, we have the beautiful and sport carbon fiber rear lip spoiler, which makes the GSF much sportier. Here's a quick look at the side. The rear bumper is also equipped with parking assist and a rear view camera that automatically turns on when the car is put into reverse. This is a great safety feature to assist driver in backing out and parking. To enhance visibility for driver behind us, there's the attractive and eye-catching tail lamps which were uniquely designed for the GSF. And lastly, way below, we have the nicely designed rear diffuser with the extremely sporty quadruple exhaust tips. Also, did I mention the ferocious exhaust sound when it roars? Beautiful. Here's a closer look at the exhaust tip and the rear diffuser. As for the gas tank, just make sure the core is unlocked. To open, all you have to do is push in. and the GSF gas tank can hold up to 17.4 gallon of gas and it is recommended by Lexus to use premium unleaded gasoline only now let's go ahead and check out what's inside the trunk and as you can see very spacious for a sport vehicle Inside the first thing we have is the core mat along with the trunk net. Over here we have the first aid kit, a hook there, and below here also two additional one on this side. There's the user manual. More hook here. And this piece is used for you to carry or hang grocery bags. You can put up to 11 pounds. And for safety, you can simply pull this down to release yourself from inside the trunk if you ever happen to get yourself locked inside the trunk. And to close the trunk, we'll just have to close it manually. Here's a complete view of the top. The GSF does come with the moonroof with slide and tilt function. And here it is with the tilt function on. And lastly, we have it fully open. Now let's take a closer look at what we have on the driver's side door. 
Again, frameless door look very nice and sporty. Door handle, speakers. Four power window control, window lock at the bottom, and here's our rear sunshade cover control here. Simply press once to raise, and press again to lower. Side view mirror control on top, side door compartment, M Sport door seal. Brake and gas pedal, hood release lever, and trunk release button. Front seat power control with lumbar support with two memory settings for easy readjustment of the driver's seat. Here's a detailed look at the driver's seat. Looks very luxurious and clean as you can see. There's the seat belt. Let's go ahead and move into the back. Now the lock and unlock feature does work on all four doors. Quick view of the interior. Same style design as the front door. We have the power window control, sunshade cover. You can also control the other side from sitting over here. And you can also control the rear sunshade cover, side door compartment. Now again, I am five foot seven, weighing about 150 pounds. Just give you a better idea of how much leg space you will have sitting in the back. As you can see, I have plenty of leg space. No trouble at all. Complete view of the front for sitting in the back here. Complete climate control in the middle with two additional air vents. And now the middle portion here, as you can see, is split in the middle so uh, the third person sitting in the middle will be very have a hard time to sit have splitting their legs here let's see back seat storage same on this side additional storage compartment And here we have two cup holders. You can also open this piece, which will give you a shortcut access into the trunk. I really like the interior color of this uh, specific model here. Rear seat also have the built-in latch system for you to safely secure down your baby seat. Also have the matching color seat belts there. On top we have the different reading lighting control. Hook for you hang your clothes or anything you need to here. So here we are back in the driver's seat. Here we have the leather wrap three spoke M Sport steering wheel. Looks very luxurious. On this side we have our cruise control. BMW logo in the middle with the horn. Voice command option, different audio modes control, Bluetooth phone errands option, and our audio volume control on this side. Standard gear shift panel, one on each side. There we have your windshield wiper control. Right and left turn signal on this side. And the button on the end here is to control the uh, trip reset odometer there. 
way in the back we have a small knob to control the steering wheel placement driver air vent fog lights control headlamps control interior lighting dimming lane assist control and here's the head-up display control Simply press once to turn on or off. Moving on up, we have the driver's sun visor with a uh, holder right here to hold paper or credit card. Mirror and light on top, which turn on and off according to the open and closure of the mirror. And you can actually move the entire piece over to the side for better sun coverage. Moving over to the middle, we have the beautiful navigation audio system display, currently in the navigation mode. Two air vents, and in the middle we have your hazard light control and door lock unlock button. Over here we have your engine start and stop button, and this button is used to control the auto start and stop function. This is where you insert your CD, audio volume control over here and simply press down on it to mute. Complete climate control. Here we have two cup holders and in between we have a USB input which is a new feature for the 2017 model. Or a gear shift box to control this. Push your foot down the brake. Press a button on the side. Push it up to put the car into reverse. Now when you do so, the rear view camera will automatically display here, giving you a complete view of the rear, which is a very nice safety feature. D for drive, over to the left for manual sports mode. After that, you can simply push up or down to change gears, or you can use the gear shift paddle behind the steering wheel here. P for park. On this side, we have the traction control and different driving modes control. Different driving mode control will display here. Now, depending on which driving mode you're in, the digital dash, as you can see, changes accordingly. Very nice. Next, we have your camera view button that button and both side view mirror the camera below both side view mirror will also display here giving you complete view of your sides parking assist power parking brake BMW I control up here you have your different display selection from navigation to map menu media communication And this knob here is multi-directional. You can press down on it to select and you can twist on it to zoom in and out on the map and different selections. Back and option button. Cigarette ashtray with a 12 volt core torture which can also be used as a cigarette lighter. Middle armrest compartment is 50-50 split. You can lock it there. Inside we have a spot for you to clip your phone here Along with a uh, trunk lock switch on this side if you move this over to the lock You will not be able to open the trunk from the inside We have a USB input auxiliary input and another 12 volt core charge outlet Glove box compartment Now for a complete view of the dash. As you see there, the speaker up here, if you mute it, it will automatically lower. When the music come up, it will automatically race. Very classy.
moving on up we have the auto dimming rear view mirror with the built-in universal garage door you can simply input the garage door codes in there and use these three buttons to open and close your garage doors further on top we have our different lighting control SOS is for roadside assistant. Press that and you'll be automatically transferred to roadside assistant. And in the middle, we have our sunroof control. Let's go ahead and open it and show you what it looks like. Looks very nice, as you can see. There it is with the tilt function. Now let's take a closer look at what we have on the driver's side door. Very nice little design and on top as you can see here's the uh, carbon fiber finish trim. Right below the door handle we have three memory settings for easy readjustment of the driver's seat. Four power window control. Door lock and unlock button along with the window lock button. On top we have your side view mirror control. side door compartments there Lexus door seal brake and gas pedals here is the hood release lever and the trunk release button multiple power front seat control Here's a closer look at the driver's seat. Looks very sporty. Also have the F badge imprinted on there. I really like the seat. Seat belt is adjustable. And as you can see here, the seat is very similar to most uh, higher end sporty cars. Side door trim also have the matching color with the side view mirror which looks very nice and attractive. Now let's go ahead and check out the back. Same color and style design as the front seat. Same as the door here. We have the carbon fiber finish trim on top. Power window control and have a small slot for uh, you to put change or things here and additional room there and side door compartment Lexus door seal now let's go ahead and hop in again I am 5 foot 7 so this will give you a better idea of how much leg space you'll have sitting in the back I have no trouble with leg space back here. Here's a complete view of the front from sitting in the back. Again more carbon fiber trim and two additional air vent. Way down here we have a 12 volt core charge outlet. And the middle is raised as you can see. Back seat compartment. Here in the middle we have additional storage compartment and you can put your phone here and on the end we have two cup holders. You can also open this piece which will give you access into the trunk. Here's a close look at the back seat. Again, very sporty. Back seat also has the built in latch system for you to securely hook down your baby seat. Here's a seat belt. Look very nice in contrast with the uh, leather seat. 
directly above our head we have the uh, lighting control handball on the side with a slot for you to hang anything you need there and we are back in the driver's seat here we have the F Sport steering wheel looks and feels very comfortable on the left side we have the different audio mode control volume control channel control and Bluetooth phone answering control Lexus logo in the middle with the horn and over here we have the different control option which allows you to control everything that's going to be displayed here on a digital dash Behind the steering wheel we have the gear shift paddle, one on each side. Here's the windshield washer control, cruise control. Over here we have your right and left turn signal along with the high beam and twist the end knob to control the headlamps. And way below there we have this power knob to control the steering wheel placement. driver air vent with carbon fiber finish trim at the bottom which again looks very nice traction control along with your fog light control and here we have another storage compartment I really like the fact that they have the blue stitching here as you can see very nicely and detailed on top we have the driver sun visor with a slot for you to put your cords. Also have a small piece of mirror with light on top which turn on and off according to the open and closure of the mirror. You can also move this entire piece over to the side for better sun coverage. And we also have the uh, handball on top. Moving over to the middle, we have the beautiful design navigation system display along with the audio system. Now it is blinking due to my camera. In reality, it does not blink at all and it is very clear and crisp and high in resolution. Looks very clean. Two air vent here with an analog clock in the middle. And right below that in the center, we have uh, your CD slot volume control over here and you can simply press down to turn the audio on or off next we have your hazard light control and on both sides here we have the temperature control with a screen which looks very futuristic as you can see when they, we change the temperature the number jumps and looks uh, very nice here's the engine start and stop button again more carbon fiber finish both front seats have heated and cool air feature control. Here we have two cup holders and the middle piece is removable for easy cleaning. Here's our gear shift box. And as you can see again, it's very detailed with the blue and white stitching. It looks very nice. Now simply move it down to R to put the car into reverse and when you do so as you can see there the side view mirror automatically tilt down giving you better view of the rear along with the rear view camera automatically display on the screen here with guided lines which move according to the movement of the steering wheel and as you can see the screen is split with the rear view mirror and the navigation on the side by side N for neutral D for drive and simply push over to the left to put into manual sport mode and then you can simply push up or down to change gears or you can simply use the gear shift paddle here to change gears below that we have the different driving modes control push down for normal mode twist over to the left for eco mode and twist over to the right for sport and twist it one more time over to the right for sport plus and the different driving mode will also display on here and as you can see each driving mode looks different which is a very nice added on feature also looks very cool 
Next over here, what I call is a command center. You use this area to control everything that's going to be displayed on the navigation screen. The enter button, we have one on both sides. And this knob is movable. And you can see I'm using the knob to maneuver around the navigation here. And you can simply press down on it to select. As you can see there again, it's very nice with the split screen. And if you're familiar with Lexus interface, it should be very easy for you to use. Just showing you some of the different uh, settings and how it looks here. And for the middle armrest compartment, unlike most other part of the core, this part here is fabric. You can slide it back, then open it fully. Inside we have a removable piece here. And storage room down there along with a USB input, two of them, and an auxiliary input. Also have a 12 volt core torch outlet. Glove box compartment. In there we also have the trunk lock button. And now to show you complete view of the dash and again I really like the carbon fiber finish throughout. And the dash for the most part is also fabric. And this one also comes with the head up display as you can see there. Very nice and cool feature to have. Moving on up, we have the auto dimming rear view mirror with the universal garage door opener. You can simply put the codes in and use those three buttons to open and close your garage doors. SOS on top for roadside assistant connection. Further up, we have the different lighting controls. And next we have the moonroof control. Let's go ahead and show you the tilt function. And you can slide this cover out manually. There it is with the tilt function on. And here it is fully open. Alright guys, that's all for today. Thanks everyone for watching. And as always, make sure to leave me comments and feedback as to what you think about this core below. For more future core reviews, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and remember to give our videos a thumbs up. Also, make sure to check out our official Facebook page, my vlog channel, and my son channel for our everyday activity. Again, thanks everyone for watching and I'll see everyone in the next video review.